Welcome to Electro Online. Back when most of us were still using incandescent light bulbs, we noticed that they used to get very hot after they were turned on for a while because a lot of the heat generated through the filament was well lost due to heat loss. It was lost to convection and, and conduction of heat, and only a very small percentage of the total output of the light bulb was actually turned into light that was emitted from the filament of the light bulb. So in order to be able to withstand the very high temperatures of the filament, they used to be made of tungsten. And they probably still are made of tungsten because the melting point of tungsten is pretty high, 3,683 degrees Kelvin. So if 98% of the heat of a 100 watt light bulb is lost by conduction and convection, the heat loss of the light bulb, and only 2%, 2 watts of the 100 watts is lost due to the light emission, what is the temperature of the tungsten filament? and assuming that the surface area is 0.25 square millimeters and the emissivity is 0.95. All right, let's figure out how to do that. We're going to use the same equation as we had before. We're going to say that the dQ dt is equal to E sigma surface area times temperature to the fourth power. And we're going to assume that it's so hot we don't have to worry about any, any of the heat coming back into the filament. So since we're looking for the temperature, we're going to then solve this as follows. We're going to say that temperature to the fourth power is equal to dQ dt, like this, divided by E sigma and the surface area. And all we have to do is take the fourth root of both sides. So temperature is equal to the fourth root of dQ dt. That's a four here, all divided by E sigma and surface area. All right. We have to be careful of the surface area because we're given it in square millimeters and of course we're going to have to convert that to square meters. So let's write down what we have. So the heat output from the light is 2 watts. So we have the fourth root of 2 watts in the numerator divided by E which is 0 0.95, that's emissivity. Then we have sigma which is 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8, that would be watts per meter squared Kelvin to the fourth power. Let's make this a little bit longer here. And then we have the surface area. And of course, that would be equal to 0 0.25 times 10 to the minus 6, because there's a thousand millimeters in a meter and a million square millimeters in a square meter. So now we can turn that into a square meter, like that. And that should give us the temperature of that filament. Let's give it a try. So we have 2 divided by 0.95 divided by 5.67 e to the 8 minus divided by 0.25 e to the 6 minus. And now we take the square root and we take the square root again and I get 3,490. So I have a temperature of 3,490 Kelvin. That's of course in Kelvin. And take a look and see what the melting temperature is. And so that should be okay. Of course, this is a hypothetical light bulb. And uh, notice then that it's still below the melting temperature tungsten, so we're okay. It should be able to withstand that. And that is how we find the temperature of an object that's radiating a certain amount of energy, and we know the surface area of this object, in this case, the tungsten filament of a light bulb. And that is how it's done.